is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Sounds good to me. You know, we started off with like maybe one or two videos a month, which is what? Maybe an hour of work, which isn't a big deal. I can easily squeeze that in between my streams or, you know, on a random day. But now that we're getting four, five, six, or more requested videos a month, well, now we're in a situation where I got to figure out how do I fit this into my schedule, right? If I'm here streaming all day, six days a week, and I only get one day off, and that day is half running errands and things that I need to do during that day off, and the other half is actually trying to spend time with my family, when am I going to have time to do these React-style videos? So what's ended up happening in the last three months, one day a month, I end up taking off half the day, the, the night stream usually, to sit down for two, three hours and film the private React, okay? So that's what we're doing this month, all right? Now, admittedly, this month is the most I've ever gotten. I know for a fact I got five. I may have six. I actually haven't even checked all of my inboxes yet to confirm how many I actually have this month. All right, I have to double check that. But if each one is a half an hour, that's at least three hours of work. Plus, obviously, there's the uploading. They're sending all the messages out to the people once those are live. Hey, here's your link. Watch your video. Yada, yada, yada. Um, and so, obviously, I've got to do it. Right? i got to get it done. So... Tonight, that's what I'm doing. I work six days a week over full-time hours. I work more in the days that I stream than if I had a nine-to-five job. That's just too much work. I'm serious. Being that this is my only stream of the day, all right, any support that you lend to this stream would be greatly appreciated because I'm not here tonight. So, you know. Super chats, super stickers, memberships, gifted memberships, tips, all greatly appreciated. Uh, as you know, we have various things going on. If you tip $8 or more on one singular tip, you can ask the 8-ball a question. Give me all the money! During those discussions, I guess certain games came up, alright? And so someone has contacted me behind the scenes. And they said they're offering to buy me what is called the Hyperkin Retro NSQ. From what I'm to understand, this is a Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance emulation device. This device essentially makes it that you can play those style of games on a PC. But I guess all the processing is done through the device, not through hardware emulation. Excuse me, software emulation. Alright? So you see the difference here? The difference is, if I'm playing a PC game, that's going to take up a ton of my CPU because the PC is the one running the game. Correct? This is a separate, uh, I guess, device. And the device does it for you, so it won't take up your computer's resources. So, let me know what you think. I need your feedback on this Hyperkin. Is it, uh, what is it called? It's called the Hyperkin... Hyperkin Retro NSQ. I have no idea what the hell any of those letters stand for. Like, I don't want to frivolously be spending some poor guy's cash on something that we're not going to use. But, but much better spent, you know what? Much better spent gifting some memberships to people. They can enjoy having the memberships, right? Much better spent, uh, you know, paying my bills, right? Than freaking doing something like that. The only way you can get your question answered is if you do like a super chat or a tip, then I can see it after the fact. Pool King has done a super chat and says, do you notice... You, you few haters in past had more fans, now more haters than fans. How do you want to bet past fans are haters? I have to, I think you kind of understand what he's trying to say, I hope. But no, 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 no. Here's the deal. So what ended up happening was there was a mob mentality that it's a memeable thing to make fun of Dark Side Phil, right? But really it wasn't until people started being very malicious towards me, breaking the law to try to hurt me and my business and my family, that things got really seriously bad, okay? Today, there is an actual cultish group of losers, right? That all they do is try to follow and hate on me, and they don't care if what they say is correct or not. They literally know half the time what they say is wrong. They don't care. Do I feel that those people were once fans that became haters? No. A lot of the people today that hate on me were always a part of a group that became this mob mentality of hatred towards Dark Side Phil, and, and you know, some of these people feel like they're crusaders for good. They're idiots. <laughs> That's the best way to describe them. 
you know. Um, what I would say is that over the years, yes, did I have a large group of fans that got turned off to my content? Yes. Did they all become staunch haters? No. I think they just moved on. No, I, I don't feel that I have fans that turned into haters. I feel there's just a mob mentality of let's pile on these certain people on the internet and somehow I became one of them because I was one of the people who sadly got bad bandwagoned on with a memeable trend of this is how you don't play and that's how I got roped in. While other content creators got roped into this kind of grouping through ridiculous over-the-top actions, uh, really fucked up things that they had done, I got roped in by a meme. A really dumb meme, too. And it sucks because I feel like I never really did anything as bad as what these other people did. Yeah, I always get grouped in with them, and I don't think that's fair. Especially because if you haven't noticed in the last five years, I've really tried to reform myself and change to be a better person. Um, it's all lies. It is all fucking lies. All right? And I feel like I have done that, but it does upset me that people ignore that. And they act like I'm the same person that I used to be, and therefore, oh, he's beyond any kind of, you know, redemption or any kind of positive, you know, still gets me to this day. I'll make a tweet, and then someone will quote the tweet, and it does that meme, oh, the worst person you know made a good point. I've seen that, that meme like 40, 50 times in the last four years. It's like, so it's not a rare thing anymore. The point is, I'm not the devil. You just were told I was by a bunch of idiots on the internet, and they're obviously have an agenda. Why do you believe it? You know? I don't know. Anyway, now, let's end this segment of baloney. I'm tired of talking about it. Dark side filled the lol cow. Lol cow, lol cow. All right, so guys, we're about to start. Final reminders, because once we start, I'm going to focus on the game, okay? This is my only stream for today. If you're not interested in God of War Ragnarok, I apologize. Uh, tonight, I do have to film private react videos for my patrons, which means no late stream tonight. Uh, I should be back tomorrow with a full day of streaming if everything goes according to plan tonight. If you would like to support the streams today, please do so on this stream, because there is no late stream tonight to kind of play makeup or anything like that. Historically, sadly, God of War Ragnarok ends up being my lowest viewed, lowest engaged, and lowest supported stream. It'd be nice if we could make an exception today, all right? But it is what it is. If you guys can support, please do. If you can't, I'm not going to complain. Uh, hopefully, it's not a horrendous stream, considering I don't have a second one tonight. But uh, I'll be back with, a, hopefully, a full streaming day tomorrow if everything goes well with those React videos on the late shit here, okay? Fair enough. And by the way, yes, we have Christmas hats in the rotation if we happen to hit $100 in tips on today's stream. However, we haven't hit $100 on a God of War stream, I think, ever. Or at least not since the game came out like a month ago. So again, just being, you know, realistic here, I'm not expecting much, okay? And take all your money. I just gotta wait for the part to save here. No break today. Guys, it would really be great if you could support the stream. There's been no support in two hours. And I'm working my best here to win. We have tons of viewership. Obviously, you guys know how to support the stream. This is my only stream of the day. It sure would be great if you could support in any way. Okay? All right. We're just going right the fuck back in. We're getting so close to winning. And literally, every time that I'm about to win the fight, the game cheats. The camera gets stuck on the fucking wall. The game auto-targets the woman in the other end of the arena, so all my attacks miss. It's pretty pathetic how bad this is implemented and that I keep losing because of bullshit. I really wish the game would fucking work, but all I can do is work with what the game gives me, right? See, I'm like, throw the axe at that attack. It's in my face. Oh, throw the axe at it. When are, they e when are they ever throwing it from across the arena when nothing's happening? You're just wide open. Oh, I can just throw the axe now. Never. It's always in your fucking face. It should deplete over time. It should be infinitely following you around. <sighs> Give me some of the salt. Give me that salt. Mmm. Yo, can you do anything? What was I supposed to do? He was tracking me. He was tracking me with the jump attack, and she throws the ice attack. No, I can't throw the fucking axe then. It's impossible. You're going to get destroyed. It's an unescapable situation when they do that. Inescapable, because if they're so like, oh, the solution is you're supposed to throw the axe. You can't, you fucking idiot. Whoever designed this is a more No, you can't fucking throw the axe. Oh, you're gonna get salt, 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 salt. It's oh, even now, I'm getting my mouth overpowered with salt flavor.
Can't even see anything. No, Carlito, you're wrong. I already fought the sisters. I already fought them head up. They don't take damage. You're saying, oh, they're glass cannons. They're not. When you do the rage, it does no damage to them, almost to zero. They don't have a stun meter, so they can't get stunning to take extra damage. And you barely do any hit damage to them all you hit them. You're full of it. You don't know what you're talking about. Why is that unblockable? My question. I really want to know why the orders are unblockable. It doesn't make any fucking sense. How is that fair? You can't dodge them, you can't block them. Oh, good. WWE 2K22 gets it out. Excellent. Good time for that. No way to dodge it. Literally no way to dodge that. Alright, one or two more times, then we're done. Salty. Very salty, because everything in here, salty. And so if you're okay with salt or sodium overload, you'll probably like this. There's no, just, there is no way to stop that ball. When that ball is out there, you're done. Like, you might as well just not play. When that ball comes out, you don't have time to throw an axe to stop that ball. So once it's out, the fight is literally fucking over. What dumb fuck made this and thought that this was a good idea? You have to be a fucking Over 1,800 milligrams of sodium. This is one of the saltiest things. Fuck this. <laughs> Fuck this game. He rage quit! He rage quit! Oh my god, he rage quit! Are you fucking serious? Yeah, I've had enough. I mean, I tried for two hours. You know, I genuinely give my honest, hardest effort. I learn patterns. I learn. I try fighting both of them. Can't beat the women. You try, it doesn't work. He'll always track you down because he can literally teleport across the entire screen. So there's no way you can ever beat the women. So you get him down to his last health over and over and over, and the game refuses to let you play. It just cheats every time over and over. I mean, that's un unbelievable. The amount of cheating that that just did to me. I mean, even in, again, even in Dark Souls, you can usually say the fights are fair. That's not fair. In this case, this is a situation where the game does what it wants. Right? Sometimes it interrupts things, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you can interrupt them, sometimes you can't. Sometimes your move comes out. Sometimes you parry and he stops and gets stunned. Sometimes you parry and he attacks right through it. It's just, it's completely inconsistent. So what it ends up being is you have to be lucky. You have to play and knock and get lucky. Let them not rain down the orbs that you can't avoid. Because again, you can never throw the axe to stop those orbs. If you do, you get hit by someone else, the other two people. You have to get stun him against the wall with the rage. Keep him going, keep him going, keep him going. Right? It's nonsense. So, really, what are you expected to do? Not do it like I'm doing it. They want you to leave. They want you to go play further in the game. They want you to upgrade your stats more, get better armor. I shouldn't have to do that. I shouldn't. I should be able to beat it now. Because I understand the patterns. I know what's going on. There's unavoidable situations. Whenever there's an unavoidable situation in a game, all right, that's bad game design. And there's multiple unavoidable situations in that fight that make it pathetically inferior to anything that's been done in most most from soft games. There's been a couple situations where it's been kind of messed up. For the most part, like, compare that with a high-end battle in, like, Elden Ring, right? Just compare it. Melania, insanely overpowered, but fair. And once you learn what to do, right? Moog, both forms, you know? Those, those are fair fights. It seems like at first they're one-sided, but once you get down to it, you can beat them. This is just, hey, let's put three random AIs in one room and just let them do whatever they want. So there'll be completely unavoidable, unstoppable combos that you can't get away from. You'll always be getting hit from behind. There's nothing you can do about it. You can't... Oh, the way to beat the, the energy orb is to throw the axe. You never can. You're not far away from all three of them. One of them is always in your face. The only time you'll ever see the orb coming is when someone else is already attacking you. You can't throw the axe then. Salt. That's all you taste is salt. And can't beat it. It's disappointing. You know, I want to beat it. And I know I'm going to eventually. I'm not going to give up. You guys know me. You saw my Elden Ring run. I'm not giving up on it. It's just frustrating that two hours and I get so close and every time the game cheats. Like literally every time. Here it comes. Wail on him with the balls of energy he can't dodge and can't do anything about. Right? Just keep doing it. It's fucking stupid. Okay, guys. Next time. I guess what we'll do next time is we'll, we'll continue on. We'll look for the other side content in the area, right? Um, you know, we'll try We'll try to do other stuff and have to come. Again, another boss that I have to come back to. I don't want to. I want to do it now. But the game won't let me have fun. Basically, the game is preventing me from having fun. And that's not cool. Let me have my fun. 
Let me learn and win. No, it has to be random because the game cheats. Okay. Well, I guess then I'm not going to have fun with it. I'm just going to have to go grind in the rest of the game, get higher level, come back, and then beat it because I have more health, which is stupid. I should be able to beat it, and I can't because the game cheats. Come on, we got to get another gold pull. Come on. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant, fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. Is the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>